this is gonna be fun. Yay! Oh my goodness. It's my third car wash rodeo. Oh. They're getting so big. I've never done anything like this, but I'm excited about it and I hope you will be too. We are doing a t-shirt design contest. is having a fit. The kids and I have mineral duty. Uh, the guys wanted to feed, but they still had a lot left from yesterday because we were so late. So, um, they didn't feed this morning. Bonnie. Uh, <laughs> anyway, um, Lawrence is at the house. He is not feeling well. His hip, his hip and his knees. Tip and his knees are killing him today, killing him. And I can't find the heating pad. So after this, we're going to town. We're going to guitar practice and the drugstore. So anyway, uh, hope he feels better soon. So we got uh, we got some other stuff to do that we really need his help for. So say a prayer. And of course, the minerals are at the very back of the barn. And there's tons of stuff in the way. They're hard to carry because they're brick hard. Hard as a brick. You got that. You can't carry two, baby. No, no, on just carry one. Come on. We don't need anybody else getting hurt. <laughs> You're good. I didn't need my bibs because it's in the 40s, but I'm kind of wishing I'd worn my bibs. It's a little chilly. All right, girls. Oh, this is going to be fun. <laughs> yeah. Hold on. We got to get it out of here. Uh, 
her trouser. Oh. <laughs> More dry ground. <laughs> so this goes to show that we do have dry ground. The problem is around the feeding areas and it is impossible to keep them from getting muddy if it rains at all. So anyway, oh my gosh. Okay, we got to and from guitar. Now I'm going to get Hank. So, Hank has not been getting sweet feed because Hank does not really need sweet feed. Hank is a very easy keeper. He does fine on hay. But, um, anyway, a little bit wanted to start giving him some feed, so we've been giving him feed. And evidently now, when they go to bring him in at night, he wants to act up a little bit. He's ready to get to his feed. So, mom is going to get Hank tonight and see what this is all about. Look, so pretty, the sun's setting. They're eating their hay. Hello, Hank. You ready to go in? <laughs> well, we didn't have any problems, did we, buddy? <laughs> No, we didn't have any problems. He acted like a little drink. So he's gonna get some food. <laughs> Good boy. I'm a sweet boy. He does that thing that little man daddy would, and then like digs into it. <laughs> yeah. So that's some good stuff. That's a good treat. Hmm. Will I ever remember to take that wreath down? <laughs> Probably not. Okay, I feel like I've been running a marathon this morning. I don't even remember where I left off last night. I don't think, I don't know. Um, ooh, got sunshine coming in. That's nice. It is cold though. It's very cold. It's in the 20s again this morning. Woo! I did no feeding though. This is gonna be day two of not doing feeding. I have a hair appointment. Trust me, I need it. Um, so I'm going to get that done and run some errands in town. Wesley and Austin are doing their school. We were just working on math. Math is fun. Said no one ever. Just kidding. I'm sure some of you love math, but uh, Austin and I, we struggle a little bit. We're getting there though. We're doing it. We're getting, we're getting through dividing for the second year in a row. <laughs> um, anywho, so yeah, I'm heading to town and then Wes is gonna go with Lawrence. Lawrence is still hurting very bad today, his hips and his knees. I'm really hoping and praying that this is the year he can get his knees replaced. Finding a time at this point is one of the hardest things, like downtime, where he can be down for the length of time that he needs to get it done and recover and, and do the therapy and all the things. So anyway, that's just a little bit of what's going on here. Um, yeah. All right. I'll see you later. Look where we are again, y'all. I'm finally getting the hang of this. I'm not, I'm not gonna freak out. I'm really not. This is actually my third car wash rodeo now. So I'm a pro. Uh, I finally learned to put it in neutral, take my foot off the brake, take, take my hand off the steering wheel. I keep forgetting that. Turn the water off. We're 
we're going to fix a, ooh, that's gonna hit that. We're going to fix a water. pulled out the crutches. He's gonna supervise. Right. He's gonna him. supervise. I'll take the top of the off the wall. It's a valve down about right here level. Is it a point kind of valve or it looks like Mickey Mouse kind of? Yeah, like a little teapot. Yeah. Oh. Well, you have to reach all the water running down. Oh. Then. Yeah. 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 Oh, yeah. Take the float out. On the white thing? Right. Take the float out. Then unscrew the other piece and put the water in. Turn right there. The Got the float off. Turn the green part? Get hold of the white. It's going to be the main type. Oh. Oh, yeah. Okay. Oops. Yeah. Oops. Yeah. Oops. Yeah. Oops. Yeah. Oops. That plunger is sticking down in there, son. See it right there? Yeah. All right, you got to. Stick it in there like that, cock it up, and put your pin in. If you let it hang down like that, you can see the hole. So all you had to do is replace a washer on the... That's all you got to do. Oh, where, oh and it's in there. Okay. Okay. It's fun with the water running. Carrie's going to drop it. You, you got it. You got it. You did it. Okay. All the way through there? Yeah, all the way. Can't go no more. All right, you got to put your plug back in there. Okay. When that metal piece comes with a quarter of an inch. Rubbles are sticking in there about a quarter of an inch all the way around. You got it. What do y'all think? Back up. It's gonna come back up. Oh yeah, I turn the water on. That that makes good sense. Good job, buddy. Alright, I feel better. I've watched it be done before, but I feel like I learned more this time. Austin uh, just had pretzels with the show. Now you know where to turn the water off at this well. <laughs> Coming up good. Okay, supper is being prepared for calves and for humans. Yeah. I had a pound of hamburger and I didn't know what to do with it. So I combined it with some bacon grease and some butter and we're going to have hamburgers. Like... 
the hamburgers. Yeah. Um, see that smoke? Got a little smoky in here because I forgot that I left a huge sheet pan that I used to cook bacon yesterday in the oven so it would cool off. And then forgot about it and just preheated the oven for fries and it started smoking. <laughs> I couldn't figure out where the noise was, where the noise, <laughs> I heard the puppies. I couldn't figure out where the smoke was coming from. Anyway, so we, we've got a little smoke going on, but I want to show you this really, hold on. This really beautiful painting I got in the mail today from a viewer, Cindy Dickel. Look y'all. Isn't it so pretty? She took my long road home photograph from the farm and she painted it and I love it so much. Cindy, it is beautiful and I cannot wait to hang this in our home. We have the most talented viewers and community. We love y'all and we thank you. Thank you so much. This is a true treasure. What is going on in here? What are you doing? What are you doing, you little rascals? Say so we just we just ate a little bit. We just nursed a little bit, and we'll get our our puppy food in a little bit. And we're trying to get out a little bit. Oh my gosh! Oh my goodness! Say it ain't so. Say it ain't so. They are wild, y'all. I'm gonna tell you they're wild. I wish it would warm up so we could take them outside, but it's still so cold. We tried taking one out the other day, and it was shivering. We're not going to do that. Anyway, we love them. They're getting so big. What is it? This is, um, I believe this is nin Ninja. Is this Ninja? I think she calls this one Ninja. Yeah. And there's Daisy. And there's Chubby Rascal. Chubby Rascal. I see you, Daisy. And this is Rocket. That is Austin's favorite that she thinks she's going to keep. Mm. I don't know, y'all. You know, as well as I do, we don't need any more dogs. Oh, We'll see. Here you go, buddy. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> Okay. Oh my gosh, y'all. You don't understand. I'm going through pads like <laughs> crazy. <laughs> All right, y'all. It's time to settle back down. Take a little, take a little morning nap. We got to go finish some school. <laughs> well, y'all, we have rain. Rain, 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 rain. Hello, lady. Yes, you're going to stay here. Yeah, we've had over a half an inch of rain overnight. And um, it's supposed to rain the rest of the day and night, I believe, into tomorrow morning. So that's going to make things extra fun around here. <laughs> uh, we haven't fed this morning. I have a lunch meeting. We're going to feed this afternoon when I get back. Lawrence is still really hurting. It's knees. There's a lot of fluid. So, you know, there's only so much you can do about that trying to trying to keep them comfortable and I don't know y'all it's a mess it is I'm not gonna lie it's not not fun for him and it just makes makes things harder to get done um and just really have to have him driving the tractor for and loading the feed uh, Wesley and I haven't haven't been taught how to load it's gonna have to get on the short list of things to learn though, I believe. So, anyway, that's what's going on on that front. And before I wrap this video up, I've gotta tell y'all about something super fun that I mentioned last week in another video. So, this is what we're doing. We're doing a contest, y'all. We are doing, I've never done anything like this, but I'm excited about it and I hope you will be too. We are doing a t-shirt design contest. So we want you to give us ideas for a new t-shirt for this spring, 
Okay, so it's as simple as going to a link that's in the description. This will also be included in my weekly email that will go out tomorrow. If you're on my subscriber list, you will get the link through that email as well. If you're not signed up, you can go to thisfarmwife.com and sign up to get on that list. You just scroll down to the bottom of the page. Anyway, what you're gonna do is you're gonna put your name and your email and your quote. So give us a quote, give us uh, something you'd like to see on a shirt. We will have a design made up. The winner will of course get a free t-shirt that they chose the quote for. And um, I think this could be fun. I get lots of comments and people send me ideas and emails, but this will be one great way to compile them all together. We've got this going on for three days. So the contest ends Sunday. You can read the description for the full rules and when I will announce the winner. So give us your best ideas and we will do our best to bring it to life. All right. I am gonna wrap this one up, y'all. I'm gonna wrap this one up. I don't know what the rest of the day is gonna hold other than some rain and some mud, but we hope to see you back here next time and we'll just keep plodding along through it together. One more thing I forgot to mention about the contest. It will run until Sunday night, February the 6th. Then I will pick three quotes and I will send out a poll and another video next week. And I will also put it up on my social media and let you choose the final winner. I can't wait to see what your ideas are and I think this is going to be super fun. Okay, see you next time.